Hello, my name is Givasun Maina and this is a Givasun Maina Live. And today my guest is none other than media commentator and political analyst, the man from Emanuria, Shaban Natembea. We're talking issues, we're talking politics. Of course, much has happened during the weekend, and of course the past. Food prices, you know, politics here and there, endorsements, and of course the new thing is the independent candidates. The number has risen to 4,000 as we speak. Welcome, Shaban. Thank you for having me. Let's start. Let's start with the rise of independent candidates. This is amazing. We've never seen this before. Yesterday, the number was standing at 3,000, and today, as we speak, it's a 4,000. 4,000. When we start with you know, the presidential candidates, the independent ones, today they stand at 10. Uh, and of course, the, the, the governor, they are 27 currently, as we speak. The MPs is more than, uh, I think, 300. And then the rest, the MCs, over 3,000 people. What's the comment? Yeah, actually, what I would like to say is that we don't have the so-called independent candidates. What we are having, these are just dissatisfied candidates. These are independent candidates. They don't belong to any political party. Look, Miguna Miguna and yeah. the rest. It and the presidential, presidential candidates. It is true what you are saying, that there are some of the candidates that they had declared their interest to go as independent candidates a long time ago. And like, for instance, what you have said about Wani Miguna. But if you see over 60% of those who are now in the equation of the so-called uh, independent candidates, I've told you, they were in the primaries, so they participated. But they, they had other, other aspirants who trounced them. So these have just come back to disapprove that what the electorate had decided, it wasn't enough for them. And that's why I'm saying these are just dissatisfied candidates, but they are not independent candidates. So say they failed in the primaries, and so they're going to fail in the come August elections. That's what you're saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because actually, if you participated in primaries and the electorate did not vote for you, then how comes you are now to come back telling people that I've come as an independent candidate. I think the same, same those that were given during the nominations, they have to expect the same, same, same. But how can you say that? Well, one other than John Serut from, El from um, Mount Elgon, he won as an independent candidate during 2013 after failing, for, after failing in primaries, and he won. In fact, even he didn't fail in primaries. He decided himself that I will go as an independent. But remember here, People who have been going as independent candidates and ending up being elected, there are few, and the history will support what I'm saying. So, for instance, if we go with the elections of the 2013, there were few MPs. I don't know if the number reached 10, 10 people. There were few. So, I also would like also to tell people who are this time around they have decided to go as independent candidates. They should not think that they are going to have a walkover. The, the, the race and the, uh, the kind of politics that normally takes shape in our country, we normally gives, uh, give a lot of credit to parties, election as compared to the personality or as, as compared to the individuals. Are you saying running as an independent candidate doesn't matter? You know, it doesn't matter at all. The, you, are you saying the parties will still have, you know, a, a big say in the, in the elections? Yeah, party will still have a big, a big say up to now, where, where we are today. Because I think our politics has not matured to our point of giving airtime to individuals, as I've told you. So we need more time to work on it until maybe, let's say, about 20 years or 30 years. That's when maybe we may change a kind of politics that we are having today. But also we should not forget there are some of the issues that forced <coughs> us to have such a big number of the independent candidates. As you have said, we have 27 uh, 27 governors who are going for independent candidate. Also, we have 215 MPs, and also we have the 30 senators, and over 1,659. 1, These are going for MCAs as independent candidates. They are even over 2,000, 2,600. Yeah. Yep, that's true. But, so, but as, I, as I was trying to explain to you, very simple thing, give us on that. There are some of the issues that has pressured these people to decide, uh, to decide to go as independent candidates. Number one is because of this, this, uh, this satisfaction. Exactly. Some of the people, they think that maybe uh, they, were not, uh, they were not treated equally during the, the nominations of their political parties. And number two, there are the issues to do with the big parties. Like, for example, the case what is happening with the Jubilee. You know, it was very early for Jubilee to decide to swallow all their small parties 
and come with one. Are you big saying party. that is a bad thing? That Are you saying that's a bad thing? Not a bad thing, but it's a factor. So it depends on how they did their their campaigns, their nominations. So another thing is because of money. You see, people have come to realize that there is no any organization that pays well than politics. And that's why even after losing the nominations, these people have decided they have known the sweetness that, that comes with uh, having the position in the government. And that's why they have decided that they are ready. They also, they must make sure their names will also be found in the ballot come on 8th of August, 2017. Look, Isaac Kruto, you know, the other day he said, that you know jubilee you know they came with a bad plan you know killing tna killing urp killing all the political parties he says you know you know they kill democracy and today people have no vehicle to, to to use in the in the in the in the in the general elections you know they have to be independent you know he says if majority of these people win to for example as a member of parliament you know in the national assembly how will you control them in the assembly? They don't belong either to the opposition or either to the government. So how will you convince them even to vote for a bill? It is true we, are, we have to expect a lot of changes if all those who have showed an interest to go as independent candidates, they'll be elected. Because it means, remember, the way we normally passes our bills, it depends with the kind of, politi with the kind of political party that one comes from. Because, for example, what we have been seeing in the 11th parliament whereby the majority are coming from the Jubilee Party. It means all the, all the bills, before they pass, they have to get to the boardroom, they meet their big wigs of their, of their parties, they summon them before they proceed to pass on a particular bill. So it means if, um, if a big number of people are going to be elected into the National Assemblies as the independent candidates, we have to expect a lot of changes in our in our governance you know is it a danger for this country to have you know much of mps independent you know because you know it's like there'll be a lot of corruption you have to buy them cash money for for they to for them to support your bill are yes. you seeing a, such a scenario if we have such a case even before the emergence of the independent candidates those things which you are saying whereby the mps have been bribed that those things have been going on but really we have to expand a lot of drastic changes if, if it's the anything to go that we are going to increase the number of the elected leaders uh, who have gone to the National Assembly as independent candidates. Because it means then passing a bill it will be a problem because you need a certain number. As the Constitution says, at least you need a, a third, isn't it? To, to that, yeah, to to third. third, for you to be given a walkover to go on with a particular bill. So it means if people would come from different parties or as we say most of them will come as independent candidates it would be very big problem to pass any bill because you will need a certain number and more probably this number would come from the political parties that they are affiliated with, with whoever would like to pass a particular bill you know i see them as special people very special if at all they become maybe member of parliament member of members of parliament or a governor or a senator because you know they don't belong either here nor there but as i've told you on 8th of august will be this will be the special mps for example in the national assembly you know they'll just be sitting on chairs and you know rotating here and there waiting for the opposition to beg or even the government just to beg for them you know guys let's pass this bill you know you have to have to, we have to expect such a thing to happen. But as I've told you, majority of these people who are now going as independent candidates, I think I don't expect most of them who are, if they are going to be really elected. Because as I've told you, these are just the certified candidates. The Wanjiko has already rejected them. So they are coming back uh, like a force. They are forcing that, okay, the decision that you people you made during the nominations were not enough. So I still expect that the number of those who are going to be elected through different political parties will be higher as compared to those who will be lucky enough to be elected as independent candidates. Now, let, let's go to the governor. <clears throat> How do you control an independent governor? I mean, a person who doesn't belong to any party, neither Jubilee, nor, nor NASA, nor even ANC, nor even COD. For example, if Miguna, Miguna wins in Nairobi, mm -hmm. or even Buzeki in Wasingishu, how do you control such a guy? And the government gives that person over 200 billion, or wh wh one billion actually, a billion. How do you control that person? The government has no say, neither the opposition. The guy is just there. He's an independent man. Okay, I will he, do, do, he, I, he does what he wants. I will look at it at, in two ways. Number one, I think it's very good to have a governor who is independent because it means he will not have any demigod. But no it one is checking him. If the guy is corrupt, no one is checking him. 
remember who checks the governor is the members of the county assemblies according to the constitution if you go through the chapter 11 where devolution government is created so it's not even the government of the day as you are saying it's only the members of the county assemblies who are putting on toes the governor but they're also of you know they're also county. answerable to their political parties for example in Kilifi, the king amazon the the, the issue of corruption mm -hmm. it was you know Raila Odinga called the guy and told him, you know you have to you know we have a name to protect as a party and i think that's the kind of politics i would like us to change whereby we vested a lot of powers to a few individuals i think having many many governors who are going to be elected as independent candidates i think it will be a good way because they would only be interested in representing the issues of the electorate but not uh, the interests of the Hong Kong of their political parties like what is happening now. It means uh, before you make any decision, you have to look back and see what your maestro is saying. And I think that what is not good because they are supposed to work tirelessly only to improve the life of Wanjiko, but not only to be loyal to any leader. But if they are CES, according to Article 152, this way now we expect the CS to be loyal to the president, but the governors have not, they are not the appointee of the, of the president. These, pe these are the kind of the people that have been elected by the, the electorate. So they must be there to take over of the resources to preside all the activities in their county as the interest of Wanjiku would like to be. Now, the governor, do you see like, um, is this like a, a kind of, some kind of, although the guy would be elected by the people, but the guy is independent, either a man or a woman, but then the governor, because he's independent and he's controlling over a billion shillings, he's just like a businessman. Do you see, is this, is this like um, you know, some kind of privatization of politics? No, that one can't. As I've told you, the only people who are checking the development of the county, these are the members of the county assembly. Either you go there as an independent candidate or you have been sponsored by a particular political party. That's not an issue. The people who are going to decide if a governor you are going maybe to personalize the resource of their county or you are going out to misappropriate it, these are the members of the county assemblies. So they must make sure they, they work now to check your power. How are you going to use the office? How are you going to take care of the resources? Are you a corrupt person? And if they are a corrupt person, I think the constitution gives them the power to impeach you and, and ask for another election. So we should not say that just because these people are going as independent candidates, so they are going out to personalize all the resources of the county. No, unless somebody doesn't understand the constitution that was promulgated back in 2010, August 27. Mm. Yep. Now, do you see, uh, for example, what, what are the chances for, you know, we have uh, over 4,000, let's say 4,000, mm -hmm. you know, from, right from the presidential candidates to, you know, to, to governors, to senators, MCs, a member of, uh, you know, member um, the MPs. H how many people are you seeing winning out of 3,000, out of 4,000? What is the percentage? What is the prediction? <laughs> I, I think it's less than 10, less than 10 percent. From where I sit, yeah. that's what I can tell you. So they are going nowhere? Because I've told you the syndrome of party, it is still exists in this country. Whereby, and that's where you find there are some areas which are perceived to be the stronghold of a particular political party. We have not seen anybody who is coming from an opponent political party. This means we glorify the, the politics of parties more than the politics of the individuals. And that's why I'm saying a few of people, 10%, uh, they're only going, maybe those will be lucky, they are going to be elected. But I don't see a big number of them who have gone out now as independent candidates if Wanjiko will give them an opportunity Are you saying to be elected. across all the country, across all the places in this country, mm -hmm. that there are no neutral grounds where, you know, the people don't either support NASA or Jubilee? Are you saying all the people in this country, you know, they either belong to this party or the other party? It is true. You know, it will be a lie if I tell you that this country has reached a point whereby we are, we are appreciating the neutrality of politics. No. And that's why, for instance, let's go to, uh, to Asingishu as a county. During the nominations, I did not see any banner or any poster of parties such as ODM, ANC, or Ford Kenya. And I think the, also, the same narrative happened in the, in the perceived stronghold of the opposition. So this tells me we don't have the neutrality in our politics. Our politics, it is a partisan kind of politics. So, and that's why I'm really pity the capacity of knowledge of those who decided to go 
as independent candidates because they're only going to waste their resources and money for the forthcoming elections. So you're saying they have no place in this game of politics? They have no, honestly, they have no, they have no place unless they wait for more than 10 years to come. But for now, no. We are still giving more airtime to politics or political parties. Yep. Okay. Let's go to a short break. And then when we come back, food prices. This is going to affect, you know, the election of Jubilee come August. You know, are the, are the NASA, is the is NASA going to take you know, advantage of this whole saga? Food prices skyrocketing. Milk, you know, sugar, 180 bob per kg. Unga, 170, 180 bob. It's too much after the break.